the Rebel One, and welcome to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. And right now, we're beginning our campaign playing as the Tucson Nation, in which we'll start with a focus called Tucson Legacy. Tucson is a city which is built on top of ruins of the Tucson city. Before the war, it was one of the scientific centers of the USA, being a home city for the University of Arizona. It was also famous for its military development projects and underground races. Today, this name is known only by a couple of pre-war ghouls, but the legacy of Tucson still influences the cities of Tucson, which I never took that, or never realized that. Tucson... Two sons, two sons, two sons, oh my goodness. The cult of Nas, two son, is ran by a religious cult of Nas, which proclaims cars to be the chariots of gods, and speed is virtue. Worship of Nas gets more mobilization, speed, organization, and stability. Nice. Tucson Legacy. Tucson before the war was the second largest city in America, or not America, but Arizona, only rivaled by its neighbor, Phoenix, however. The smaller size came as an advantage when the bombs fell as it made the city less likely of a target for a direct strike, but this knowledge did little to ease the minds of the inhabitants and in the following entire panic. The entire sections of the city were destroyed, especially when large fires fueled by nuclear winds threatened to consume the city miraculously. One part of the city managed to escape destruction despite all the chaos and the quickly expanding flames. It was Tucson's university. Car manufacturer, which I do kind of like. And military base. Ooh, as much as research speed. Oh, we get Gauss rifles, though. Gauss rifles. Uh, I want th more speed. I want speed. Gauss rifles are so good, but I gotta go with speed. I want to go as speedy as I can for this campaign, hopefully. But after Cult of Nass, Wyatt the Demon. Wyatt the Demon is known and feared across Arizona for good reason. His persona is surrounded by many myths concerning his current deeds, but uh, what of his past? But the Cult of Nass. Anarchy followed the flames that consumed the old world. However, what nuclear fire did not reach was soon fought over by the survivors. Few could, ever, could even describe the horrors that followed as the fabrics of society unraveled. Men and women reduced to their basic instincts. The story of Tucson could have ended before it even began had it not been for the Cult of Nass. Employees of a pre-war auto racing company had banded together. Its racers would patrol the city while its mechanics and priests maintained their equipment and kept the generators running. They freely accepted the surrounding areas when they came seeking protection from raiders and other threats that now roamed the waste and stories and knowledge they shared with them would in time, of course, become the basis of our religion. We are all we all still remember the very first story they told. It was the hero, heroics of Cannonball. Ooh. The tasks of the senior. Ooh, really, we could probably honestly use more war sport because we have 20%. Stability is always good to get, though. Ah, let's go. Let's get some more stability first. And the Wyatt the Demon. And we're led by Will Faster. It gives him more army experience game, division recovery, and the AI is more, much more focused on offense, but Wyatt the Demon. The Demon was found many years ago, abandoned on the steps to the Great Temple of Cannonball. No one had ever seen or known his parents, leaving some to question if a demon even had, even had any. At first, the priest took him for a simple orphan, raising him amongst them so that he may one day join their ranks, but in time the true destiny of the supposed child would reveal itself, for it is not the red blood running through his veins, instead it is black like motor oil. Fitting for why it might, might be the greatest racer that had ever roamed the wasteland. While his legend grows with every feat and victory, we should not forget about his humble beginnings. He was a priest. Ooh. A mechanic. A racer. Oh, we gotta go with the racer. Look at that. Speed. And then... Worship of Nas, and then Kaiser's rule. When the two first troops of the Dancing Legion threatened the security of the two sun itself, its racers were ready and prepared to meet them, but a lone courier managed to convince them otherwise. Not to to attack, but instead laid on their arms, offered gifts to the encroaching invaders, even. The courier was none other than Volpus and Kulta, and in time he would become known as the greatest of Kaiser's from Atari. And it was he that managed to convince Kaiser to preserve two sun autonomy under the bull's banner. Since, Mars, since then, Mars has been officially inducted into the two sun pantheon, while the mighty Kaiser himself became equally venerated as his son and high priest. Uh, the racer, 5% more speed, and then 3% more speed. Let's go speedy, 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 speedy. And then you can tell we, we do want to go to Worth Cowboy Country. But Kaiser's rule. Many years have passed since two sons has sworn fealty to Kaiser, and while some of the older racers still lament the loss of autonomy, but the relationship has always been mutually beneficial. The Legion controls large stretches of land, land rich in resources, resources two sun desperately needs if we seek to not only maintain but expand our growing arsenal of vehicles. Meanwhile, the Legion benefits greatly from our expertise, and with our cars we've enabled them to perform lightning-fast strikes at the enemy at a moment's notice, as well as shift troops and supplies at speeds that can never be rivaled by foot. We've proven our loyalty in numerous towns, both on and outside of the battlefield, and none can deny that the Legion has repaid our de devotion by making us... This is very nice art. Very nice art. Wealthy? More development and get some money. Strong. Ooh, motor chariots and armor chariots. Civilized. Ooh. Oh, that's really not bad. Ah, uh, because if we come over here, we'll look at our tax. 
Uh, we're we're tribals. This sucks. So we're literally, we're all tribals except for vehicles. And then over here, we're literally all tribals as well. Which is, oh no, no, no. This is that's not worth it at all. At least in my opinion. Uh, actually, trade no, trade no wise. What is this? Two sons. I guess we do have a trade node, which is really nice. But we can always build that up ourselves. Oh, motor chariots. Let's take a look at vehicle stuff. So we have our normal vehicles. We already have savage motor salvaged motorcycles. Chariots. Are chariots worth it, though? Uh, only if you use them. Ooh, armor is five. Well, we can compare it to salvaged motorcycles right now. Let me do some coffee here, like I said earlier. Hardness. They're a little harder. Uh, speed is ten. Speed is nine. I do want to go as fast as possible. Uh, armor is ten. Armor is only five, though. Ooh. That's more production cost, a little bit more speed, but less armor? I don't know, man. And uses less uh, stuff down there. Ooh. Civilized. That is so good, though. Get intermediate support technology. That is super, super good, because right now we only have the basic stuff. We can get to level two stuff, which would be really good for infantry. It does lower your armor if you use this stuff. Uh, uh, uh. I've got to do that one. Ah, that pains me a little bit. Oh, whatever. Trade with Phoenix. Oval Teeth? Oh, I need more money. Trade with Phoenix. We'll do the roads. Now, I do want to go to War of the Cowboy Countries pretty darn quickly, but Masters of Motor? We can produce things pretty quickly. Window to the Sea. Well, let's take a look. Before we go too far, let's look where the research slots are. So we have one over here. Ideas are easy. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And that's the only one. Okay, so we might want to beeline to go down here first and get the research slot. So, the roads. Tucson is a long story, but for the first time in 200 years, it is brought together under a strong government. Will Faster has brought together a council of Tucson's greatest minds. Priests, mechanics, warriors, and racists will create the development plan for the city and the territories around it. Absolutely. So we have a core population of about 75,000. Not too bad. We are allied with the Legion for now, which is also not too bad. We have earning our freedom, which we can try to do to get, have our, you know, raise up our tiny levels. Political actions, organizational relations, we don't care about drastic measures, don't really care about either. Um, yeah, I think we'll try to race <laughs> race for the uh, research slot as fast as possible, and then take out two sons. Or cowboy country, we are two sons. Get more political power, though. Mm. But we do need all these, but that's only 8-day focus, 30-day focus. Ooh, arms workshop. Ooh, scavenging. How many resources do we have? We need water. Water and electricity. Ooh. If that's a case, we can do this one first. Build water pumps in Nuagles. Nuagles is the second biggest city in our territories. This pre-war city now provides shelter for immigrants from Mexico and even some runaway slaves from the Legion. To keep these people in our lands, we have to provide them with water. The council will organize the construction of new wells, which is very, very good. Followed up with develop farming in Nuagles. Now, while the supplies of drinking water are secure, we can focus on supporting Nuagles farmers. There's great amount of immigrants who can settle there and help to cultivate the lands around the city. That is a good thing. One time use, that's fine, just go and do that. Uh, over here, we're not too bad, actually, overall. Assimilation would be really nice. We have no other generals right now, which kind of sucks, except for well faster, of course. Let's go and train our guys. What are we missing? We're missing a lot of infantry equipment. Um, I would like to raise up our conscription, well, maybe, yeah, conscription eventually. But I would like to get some more stability. I don't want to hurt ourselves too much yet. I really would like that, but that's so much pee, -pee. We can only get, ah, one a day is actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. So let's do that one, and then I'll maybe we'll go over here. Because I do want to go to war with these guys as fast as possible. I don't know. Oh, requires all of the fault. Oh, hello. Uh, no, I don't want to lose stability yet. Trade with Phoenix? Why not? Well, Flagstaff was the original location chosen to serve as the capital of Kaizaz Empire. There's no doubt that the Phoenix is its economic core. The markets of the two sons can only stand to benefit from us pursuing closer ties. An increasing number of Frumentari have traveled through our lands recently. Certainly one of them can be convinced to deliver our new trade proposal to the merchant families of Phoenix. Now, at this point, I want to go down here as fast as possible because I don't remember when Kaizar will go ahead and go to war with Cowboy Country. And I want to make sure that we actually get that, so... That'll be important to grab. Up next, the Sonora Cohort. Well, we need to do this one. We need a little bit more money first. We got. I guess we'll just force our way this way first. Let's we need more money. Is there any way to get more money real quick? I don't mind getting more money. Actually, let's go trade a little bit more. Maybe get more money that way. Let's go ahead and do a scavenging program. One of the programs intended for the acquirement of new scrap for our foundries and garages has granted prospectors permission to break down some of the pre-war buildings in hopes of securing further scrap and building materials for new projects. This has led to an entire steel beam structures being picked apart and shipped off to be melted down in our furnaces. Nice. Uh, we are... Oh, actually going down this way might not be worth it. Just because 1, 2, 3 is better than these two. 
Ooh, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go look at this first. Tech. Uh, let's see. You get a lot of blueprints and such. Impact bumpers, waste on cars, um, intermediate exploitation. Oh, wait, intermediate exploitation tech. That's not bad. Exploitation, huh? Um, uh, let's see. Naval invasion technology. Let's see. What is this? Tanks, panzers, tanks, yeah, garages, industry. What is this? Aero reconnaissance, uh, cars. Intermediate construction techniques. That's not bad. Uh, you know what? For now, I think we'll just keep it. Let's just keep it the way it's going for now. I, I'll suffice. Oh, look at that finish line. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually be able to get there. What is sophistic? Oh, hold on. What is it? Also, uh, since we're here, anyways, do that one. There you go. Uh, exploitation. Ah. Wait. Well, whatever. Just do this stuff first. If I'm wrong and we don't get that later on. Well, then I'll just switch things around a little bit. But before we go too far, let's make sure we actually trade with some other people here. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Let's do that one. That would be good. I'll take 40 cases. It's fine. It doesn't cost that much, so. Very good. Nice. Followed with... Technologies excavation. With the previous campaign being complete success, the council has decided to set a more ambitious goal. At this time, scavengers will dig into old ruins to search for whatever advanced components there might be. Also, I would like or do want to let you know, um, or at least let you know that I'm not really sure if we're on historical or not. I think we're on historical. I could be very wrong about that, but we might or might not be on historical. Just to let you know, I don't remember whether I set it on or not. But we'll see. Obviously, by the end of this uh, campaign, not good. Good, good, good. I'll get him some more upgrades soon. What is this else here? Construction. That'd be nice. Good. Cool. And that will be done in three days. Nice. And we'll do probably garages. Efficiency growth. That's not too bad. Eh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go over here first. Tombstone Garages. Tombstone is a small desert village, however. The plains around it are perfect for racing. To provide our drivers with appropriate maintenance, the council has decided to open new garages in Tombstone. Sounds pretty good. And we're building some civvies and some millies eventually. Secret language. Very nice. Uh, land auction, yeah, let's keep going down this one. It makes more sense for us to go down conventional warfare. And actually, are we getting daily armies beginning? Well, faster. We were training our soldiers, so that makes sense. Um, military theorists will probably want to do that, but we need to focus on the great game focus. Okay. And we get to go to the conquest of Yuma, which sounds like a lot of fun. But I do want to ask you guys. Let's see if you want to about that. Please go ahead. And I'll take 40 cases, please. Thank you. Setting fire to the sun. Should we do that? Or should we do protection under the protection of the bull? So we should go this way. Uh, with going to war with looks like Henta del Sol. Or should we go with under the protection of the bull, get energy of the suns, joined arms production weapons to surpass metal gears, which sounds awesome, our, of our own design, new industry, as well as Tres Helios. So let me know, which, which way should we go? Because I'll leave that up to you guys. So, Tombstone Garages, nice. You know, the arms workshop and some... Uh, Infrastructure? Hilltop is the next destination for our racers after Tombstone. We can prolong our tracks from Tucson to build the lo longest sports track in the wasteland. Get another arms workshop and infrastructure, which we could probably actually really, really use. Uh, I don't mind getting gliders. These guys, not so much. You guys, motor chariots. Yeah. Actually, oh wait, hold on. Maybe that was a bad idea for me to do. Oh, they're an entire... Oh, oh. This is an entirely different division. I didn't realize that. I thought they were the same division. What happens if we convert this to that? You actually get a little bit more stats. You actually lose a little bit of organization, though, even though armor does go down, too. Uh, maybe I, I regret going that way, though. You get 12 more soft attack, which is kind of nice. 5 more breakthrough, a little bit more defense, a little more air attack, more more HP, but less organization, a um, little bit less armor. Ooh. I mean, I don't mind mixing that with the other stuff, but... Well, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't worth going down that way. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anything else here? Not too much. Uh, Road War would be okay. Infantry, motorized attack, and defense is pretty darn decent, too. The Sonora Cohort. But let's go ahead and read about Garage Inventory. There are countless garages all over our land. Some of them are improvised temples, but some are rooted in pre-war period. Will Faster wants to initiate throughout the, the inventory to uncover more tools and forgotten technologies. Cool. Yeah, we could raise the conscription level, but we'll wait. Let's wait first. 
Mm, Flagstaff person. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. Paranoid protector is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Cool. All right. It's 2275 still. We'll probably use some of that. Nice, nice, nice. And let's continue with Garage's inventory. Followed up with Industrial Development. With a new record of tools and a couple of uncovered blueprints, we can now put them to use in our industry. This will greatly benefit our Garage's mechanics. Absolutely. And since we're here, we can do both, maybe. I forget how much we're going to get. Don't hurt our civvies too much. I don't mind hurting our research speed, then. There you go. Keep building up our civvies, because we need them. Better, 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 better. How much money do we have now? Oh, we're close. We're getting close. We're getting very, very close, which is awesome. We could do that, but we're going to wait. What do we want to use here, though? Do we have anything special here? Oh, we kind of do. Oh. Huh. The work gangs. We love work gangs. Navajo silversmiths. Anything else unique around here? No... We probably do want to get APCs eventually. Maybe even tanks, depending if we can. Oh, this one would be very good to do now. Less is all usage and more max speed. That's not too bad. And industrial development. Followed up with United Country. With all the projects done, the council can report a full success. We now have complete control over our lands and begin to create a reliable exploitation industry. Nice. We get way more infrastructure. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Eh, that's a little bit ahead of time. That's not that ahead of time, though. Which is totally fine with us. Totally, totally fine. Ooh, that's not bad. Integrate the Rangers? Hmm. This guy's a wanted man. More research speed for less political power. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, War Sport Factory output is not bad. I just don't know what I want here. Economic Jumpstart? Mechanic would be not bad at all. I like that one, too. Ooh. Military Staff Power of Nas. Oh, so you get more of him. Planning Speed Max Factor Planning. Max Planning Factor, huh? Arm Experience Gain Black Blooded. I don't like losing defense, but 50% more attack is pretty good. And more breakthrough. Now, that's a stat you almost never see you get you can get more of. Which I think is kind of unique. So we actually might go with that guy. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with that guy. That looks really cool. You get, actually get more attack and defense. Cool. And the great race. Oh. Well, we're talking about race here. Not as in like a racial issue. But more like a Zoom Zoom, NASCAR, Indy 500, Daytona 500 type of race, probably. Invitations. Ooh. I don't know then. Hmm. There's the invitations deadline. I don't know about that then. As much as I want that research slot, ooh, I I want to do a race, but uh, I, we can invite New Reno Ironmongers. It actually might be best to do this, but I want to go to war with them. Masters of Motors, speed, land auction stuff, start your engines. Ah, uh, screw it, let's do it. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll go. We do have a lot of PP, though. We do have quite a bit of PP. It's almost 2276. Just go and do that one. That's fine for now. 80s in Ruby Valley Refuge. And you know what? Screw it. Do this one. A little more autonomy gain. 0.91. That's... What? Um, nah, we're good. I don't want to lose stability. Don't feel like it this time. But at least we'll do... Ideas are easy. We're going to help the chop shop by financing a new garage in Tucson. This small gesture shall hopefully lead to them conducting even more business in our territories in the future. You get a research slot, which is exactly what we want. And we're super close to getting more money, too, so. Oh, refugees, god dang it. Uh, actually, refugees are not bad. They can help you give, get more population, even though I don't think they're worth too much. We close all this stuff. How's the Legion doing? They don't need our help, right? Honestly, when we go to war with the NCR, we're probably going to have to carry the war against them. Just being real here. I don't trust the Legion at all. Los? Cool. Seed selection is nice. Good, good, good. Happy almost 2276. Murder's for speed. Thank you. Ah. New year, new us. Ideas are easy. We're about to get paid soon, too, which is awesome. Uh, I don't want to lose money, though. Economic jumpstart, that's really not bad, either. Well, I guess technically we have to choose all three of these, so... If we're going to start with somebody, let's choose the person who gets more factory output. And eh, why not, why not, why not? And we got more money? Nice. So after this... Wait, so where's the mission to invite people? Invitation deadline. It won't... Do if rumors move faster than a great racers. If not completed within 530 days, we lose 40% stability in war sport. Urgh. Oh crap, build new tracks, factory repair, infrastructure. Well, that's not good. Well, I guess it's time to keep some PP then. So after this, step on the gas. Ooh, I'm pretty sure we have to race down through here. Ah, I should not have started it, but whatever. Conquer the cowboys. I wanted this really quickly. Actually, the Coliseum. Oh, we need to build way more infrastructure. Wow. Grants foreign 
great race participants rise to build boxes in two seconds. Step on the gas. With the great race on the horizon and preparations well on the way, we can finally start sending out invitations, the carrier of which shall be none other than Wyatt himself. This long and perilous journey shall lead him across wastes, and no other racer could be more suited for this monumental task. Cool. Alright. Let's grab some more. Uh, maybe not. Let's not do that one yet. Let's get some planes going, at least. That's nice. Aero warfare would be good. Vehicles. I kind of want to wait. Let's grab some automation. Why not? So I guess we gotta save our PP then. 137, not too shabby. They don't need us. See, they definitely don't need us. Do we need to train some more? We probably do. Battle plans are nice. Let's grab the next level too. Field fortifications, thank you. Usually when I use motorized vehicles, we don't do super well, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Man, we're gonna need way more PP for this. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh crap. And we have to use PP to upgrade our ah. It's only 19 or 20, right? That's only 20, so it's not too bad. How are our civvies doing, actually, right now? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Cool. I are stepping on the gas. Screw it. With all the old teeth. Over time, Legion restrictions have less, and by increasing our annual tribute, we can pro prove to Kaizaz emissaries that this was the correct measure, and that both sides can only benefit from further exemptions. Acceptissima semper munera sunt acto que pretoisia facit. I don't speak Latin, I apologize. No, guys, we're not gonna come in. Alright, so. Oh, crap. This is not good. Alright, so after that one, I, I just wanna go to war, man. We do get more political power if we go that way, which is nice. But, let's do uh, oh, flexible designs. Why not? Mm. Warrior training, because we can. All right, let's go ahead and do children along 80, because they probably will do well here. The Vermintari returning from their assignment in Utah tell stories of a most remarkable tribe known and feared for the speed and savagery with which they conduct their attacks. If their mastery of the vehicles is truly as remarkable as they claim, they shall make a uh, worthy foe and very much deserving of an invitation. Uh, I don't really care. Let them come in, I don't care. After that, Poetic Justice is a great race participant. Well, how about Iron Titans? Few of the Legion's scouts ever ventured south, especially after the failed attempt of Paulus to take control of the, over the nations along the Rio Grande. However, despite these previous hostilities, trade with the remnants of Mexico has never ceased, and the story of one particular traitor claiming to sell guns on behalf of the TAA has caught our attention. Apparently, even super mutants are not immune to the allure of the blessed combustion engine, and perhaps they can even be persuaded to join if we only invite them. Which actually makes more sense to do this stuff now, since, uh, eventually, these guys, uh, well, they might not exist, so... I want to take these guys out. We could probably still take their stuff once we're done. Meeting their needs? Yeah, we're kind of okay. Are we back up? Okay, 1.03 days, not too bad. Ooh, 81%, that's not great. Ooh, hopefully we can get the 80s to join us at least. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun to do some racing if, uh, well, it's just us winning. But, that looks pretty good for us. Look at that. Oh, what is this? Oh, rag sack camel shell. That makes sense. There you go. Trojan Long 80 and Iron Titans. Nice. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, guys. It's passing the ruins of two suns. Okay. It's running through the waist of the blue waist. Oh, that's kind of cool. The blue feather. Ruins of South Phoenix. So you're actually watching him as he goes up through all these areas. That's kind of cool, actually. Simulation. The followers are established. Wyatt is riding through Prescott. Cool. Well, the biggest little city we could probably do next. To the north, east of California, lies the city of Nurino, a city of sin controlled by rival gangs, but also home to some of the best racers on this side of the Colorado. Even at the risk of potential Legion objections, we have to invite them. We have to. I don't know if we really, really have to have to, but build new tracks just in case. Oh, 100 days. Oh, that's not good. But, oh, crap. Oh, the great race. We're going to take part in the great race. Our best racer will compete with the best the wasteland has to offer on the most challenging and demanding race track ever built. Competitors race through the narrow, meandering canyons of Sonora at different elevations, shooting around sharp corners along the Gulf of California. The perils of racing at this venture will only add to its allure. We must prepare. Where everyone is unprepared for these. Oh boy, the biggest little city too. Um, we've enough of this. Oh, we need to get some more. Apply what we've learned. Oh God, test new prototypes. That's fine. We can try that one. Buy new parts. Man, everything's got to go for this. Bitter Springs. Okay, so that's an invitation deadline. So we have to invite all these people then. 
and then we'll do remembering their rivals, or our rivals. Our relationship with Enta del Sol has always been complicated ever since it rose from the ashes under the leadership of the cunning Viala, or Generalissimo, as he refers to himself now. However, his people love the car almost as much as we do as such. It should be easy to convince the best of them to join us. All it would take is an invitation. Nice. So we got that one done, which is nice. Uh, we're working on that stuff. Let's see what else we have here. Industry, ship stuff. We don't really need to do ship stuff yet. Uh, we can do that stuff, but meh. Maybe resource extraction. We could probably honestly use some extraction. We're at minus one for energy, which is not very good. But. <sighs> Garrison. So we're going to need a lot of this. We're going to need a lot of that and that. How many things do we have of chariots? 83. Oh, we need way more of that stuff now. Map bar did go up a little bit more, which is kind of nice, too. We need more money to buy new parts. The biggest little city. Great. Oh, and remembering our rivals. Make sure that they all know what's going on down here. And then after that, since we invited everybody, I think that's good. Come to a stop. Complete with council invitations deadline. Okay. Merge all of our previous national ideas to which we've learned from other nations into one. Poetic justice. It's not bad. I do want to do this in our cohort. The lands of Sanoa are the birthplace of some of the fiercest warriors the Legion has to offer. Originally raised from tribals expelled from the region, they are without a doubt itching to take revenge, and undoubtedly Kaiser intends to use them to crush the pesky cowboy styled raiders to the south. However, out, uh, our frumentary contacts have spoken of the possibility that he could be convinced to delegate this task to someone else. Which we, they do complete the loyal tribe, and we do get a hundred political power, which is very nice. How many more days? Six days is fine. Let's move on over somewhere else then. Oh, here we go. Buy new parts? That's totally fine with us. Buy new parts. Buy, 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 buy. I want to spend PP here, but yeah, that's actually probably worth doing then. And there we go. Smoke signals. Awesome. Grab some encryption. Very, very good. After this, we're going to get some warrior training stuff. Scout kits. We might use that. Yeah, it's probably worth going ahead and getting that one unlocked. After that, conquer the cowboys. Ooh. To the west of our lands, a community called Cowboy Country's Lies. It consists of various ranches, but their military is enforced by remnants of Arizona Rangers. We will ask the Legion to allow us to conquer those degenerates and prove our worth. Hopefully we can do well, because I don't mind getting a little bloody in this first episode here, so. Because we should always get a little bloody in every episode, right? And we're doing quite well there, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. But a week left, not bad. And actually, two week three weeks left for that. Not too bad, too. Cool. Oh, we can't do that one? Well, Poet of Justice, then. We would never take in the scourge of the long 80 for talented poets, yet the skill with which they form rith rhymes into an almost mel mel melodic tune is undeniable. However, their true strength lies in their resourcefulness, allowing them to drive their cars for days, even in the desolate wastes of Utah, only ever so briefly stopping to refuel. Nice. We have a lot of peepees. How do we spend our peepee? We need good ways to spend. Actually, you could use a spit more water. A spit more water? A little bit more water. When mothers... Oh, we get some invitations out. Let's send them out. Oh, let's see what happens. He's going to take some time to do that. Ah, so that's why it gives you so much time, because this guy has to go through all these areas. Maybe their needs. Eh, I don't want to lose their PP yet. Oh, the Ultimo question. Look at that. Yeah, let's do this one first. So, two son and Hento del Sol's emissaries came out to the flagstaff to persuade the mighty Kaiser, and their country is worthy of holding Ultimo. But no man rules alone, and even the son of Mars bases his judgment on the advisor's opinions. The final decision will be ruled out when the great warriors of the Legion will make up their minds. Frumentarius, Volpus leads towards two sons. Lucius is ambivalent, ambivalent, and got burned. <laughs> I'm up by like it. Spread the cult of Nas? Kaiser has allowed us to spread, send priests into his lands. We should use this opportunity to prove our usefulness to the Legion. Aurelia said a road is needed from Phoenix. Nice. Participate in Legion's exercises? Combining our motorized spearhead with Kaza's endless legions will result in the most powerful army this world has ever seen. That is, if our riders don't crush all the legionnaires in the way to the front line. We gonna need a lot of things here, man. And we gotta keep an eye on the wild ride. Uh, the 80s racers are actually good to go. They're technicians. No, they're the technicians already. We're still testing our stuff here. And... Well, Poetic Justice is nice. He still hasn't replied yet, which kind of sucks. Um, hmm. Imitation is hard. Buck League is an advisor. Workshop. Foreign race participants. Rights to build boxes. Well, I want to do this one next, just because it gives us better time to produce stuff. Cars haven't advanced that much since their invention. When you boil it down, it's still a holy combustion engine that is the driving force behind them, just like they drive all of Tucson. Encoded signal's great, because we definitely need more equipment right now, so. If that's the case... How about we stop making so many of them? 
because we definitely need a few more in the reserves. Oh boy, minus 63 is not good. Well, I just kind of, well, if we stop doing that stuff, then yeah, no wonder. Yeah, let's start making some more of this stuff, because we definitely need some more. And how are we doing here? Yeah, that's taking a long time. I mean, it makes sense, but still. Um, we could probably go outside our auxiliaries, maybe. I do want to get blood demon, yeah. Let's go with that guy. We could increase that, but we'll wait. Alright, I guess implementation is hard. Nobody knows when Chop Shop shit up set up in Two Sons originally. Some pre war ghouls even claim that Chop Shops predated the war itself and that the US government tried to close them down numerous times, however. That is difficult to believe. Why would any government shut down a business this profitable? Reasons. Mount Jefferson, huh? Deco signals, cool. And that's a little bit, just a little bit too ahead of time for me. Uh, crowd control, because we can. After this one, work camps. 0.16, and eh, we could probably do trouble huts because we can. We get better energy cell capacity, which is not bad, but still. And uh, Ironmongers, that's very far away. Hand to the little souls, literally just south of us, so we should be okay with that one. Over here, medical technology is not bad, research speed. Water could be really good. Whoa, we're, we're unprepared for this. We need more army XP, so we need to go to war to do get that stuff done. Um, anything else? We have a little bit of money. Two sons. We're still doing this one too, so not too bad. We do need some political power to keep in mind for that one. But after that, what are we going to do next? Oh, no one tell Vulpus. The drivers of New Reno are just as fearsome off the tr racetrack as they are on it. We do not wish to know how they manage to smuggle their jet and other drugs past the Legion patrols, and neither do we need to. However, one thing is for certain, we, they know how to party through the night and still be relatively sober for the next race the next morning. So I guess we just have to wait for the Legion to give us the okay to take out Cowboy Country. So I'm glad I got, we got that one done, but... Oh well. More money, please? More money? What is this? Refugees? Whatever. We don't care about refugees. Let them come in. They can get under, you know, race tracks as well if they want to. As long as they abide by the rules. So, New Reno's races are ready. The technicians are ready. When do you go to war? God dang it. Happy 22... Almost 2277, everyone. Ah, uh, that's a little bit ahead of time, but whatever. No one tell Vulpus. No one tell. I guess... Hiring a real dude, because I do want to get down here as well to get into the arms workshop. Bug Teague is a part of the legendary term of mechanics that reformed the chop shop after it was originally destroyed by the Arizona Rangers in an attempt to deny their military grade equipment to the advancing Legion. He is all willing to lend us a hand when it comes to fitting out our racers with the best gear available for the right price. The, what is this? A similar little circuit. While the great race follows the ancient ra raceways and highways of old, tenderly maintained and restored by Tucson acolytes, new race courses are mapped out daily by daring racers seeking to find the perfect blend of tight corners, wide open lanes, and daring twists and turns. Tucson has recently codified a new course spanning half of northwest Mexico, dubbed the Sinaloa Circuit, and has set the competition afire with a high high speed record time. While it won't be long before their time is challenged, Tucson has more than proven their skills as a has a high octane racer. Nice! Fang it. Awesome. It is 2276, so... Construction? Yes. More output. Please, 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 more output. We're always lacking equipment here, which is ox. Wait, we can build even more tracks? Oh, that's infinite. Oh. Well, I guess we don't really... Oh, well, I guess that kind of waste, was a waste of time to do that one, then. No, actually, no, because we do need to really, really build ourselves up with a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of infrastructure. Um, Because down here... Mm, where is it? Okay, so Tombstone and Hilltop needs more infrastructure. Tombstone and Hilltop needs at least a level 7. Tombstone and Hilltop. Oh, this reminds me of, like, end of a new beginning mod, where you have to have certain things to get certain focuses done. Uh, so, this one's still gone. Start your engine. Melting iron. The great game. Actually, yeah, let's do that one. We gotta get out here. Speed is the heart of the battle. At the start of World War II, the German Panzer tanks were not markedly superior to their French or Russian counterparts, quite the opposite, in fact. The German Panzers were inferior in both firepower and armor. What the Germans did have was a superior doctrine designed to utilize their armored cores to their fullest potential. Because we do want to get through that so we can use that army XP as fast as possible. But happy 2277, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great day. Chop, chop. Uh, relations go up a little higher, which is fine, whatever. And two sons, keep building us up. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, why can't we build ourselves up anymore? Oh, oh it's because I clicked on the wrong thing, that's why. Uh, 
Oh crap, I can't touch it. Ah! There we go. Nice. Cool. Alright. Alright, for now, stop making a vision then. I want to save up that stuff. I want to get that stuff done. And it costs money to do this stuff. Hint dust all. Oh, we have some time before that happens. Alright, so now we can buy new parts. So, for us, Nurino's really ready to go. We are completely unprepared. God dang it. And I do apologize. I did not try this off screen at all, so we'll see what happens. Um, we can do that stuff too. Tank stuff, but let's do the great game. Who should conduct your own army exercise near Hilltop to study your new strategies and practice? Good. And we do need the Coliseum too, so. Uh, what are we doing? We're slowly going to start building that, hopefully, eventually soon. Testing prototypes, that's fine. Oh! Now the Ironmongers are ready. They're really, really ready. We're completely unready to go. Holy crap, this is not very good. Oh my goodness. We could do that one, but it doesn't really matter because we're not even building that stuff up yet. Chrono sucks, but whatever. What is this? Use our civvies? No, we got to keep our civvies for now. I want to build this up. It doesn't matter probably yet, so we'll wait. After the great game, Thunderstruck? Not bad. Let's do bigger than Texas Steel. Let's get another arms workshop. New products for new buyers. By allowing the different participants of the race to set up their own workshops in our territories, we should not only ensure a better race overall, but also the ability to later acquire those newly built installations from new friends for our own use once they inevitably return to their respective homes. Nice. And we'll probably go with this one. It just makes more sense to go this way, so. We lose max and trench, but we do get some more organization and soft stack and breakthrough, so. That'll be good. Very, very bueno. Come on, keep going. Oh, we're actually 2 at 15. Nice. Great game. Good, 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 good. Well, we've already done that already, so I guess up next, what we're going to do... Oh, apply what we learned. Yes. We're completely unprepared. As we're going to get one, two, and then three, and then finish it off. We'll cancel the focus... Oh, actually. Cancel that one then. Bigger than Texas Steel. Housing the Ironmongers proved less complicated. Proved less complicated than we originally anticipated. Their vehicles, although crude looking from the outside... True, high true beauty with them, like a geode. Originally, house is separated from the other racers. The ironmongers have since mingled among since our mechanics, leading to a healthy exchange of ideas. While different in almost all of their aspects, our two people have found common ground and loves for our vehicles. So because of that, and we have a deadline for about, ooh, we are, eight, ah, we should be at that one, and then this one, and then finish this one into one thing so we don't get the penalty, right? Because if we don't do this, we lose a lot of support, or, or support and stability, so. The loathsome director. No one expected that all of all people, the luchador known as Sun Eater, would be the one to represent Genta in the upcoming race. And while the Generalissimo would undoubtedly pay us handsomely for his capture, our racers would be much, more, much rather challenge him to another friendly race to see if they can match the freedom fighters' fearsome drifting sk skill in tight roads along with the southern mountain range. Nice, very cool. Uh, what do you guys at war with? No, we're okay. That can keep us cool. I'm just like, yeah, you know, war. Now nah, that's just stability. We don't want to hit our stability too much. But if you guys want to, that's totally okay with us. Keep getting us more money. Because now we're building up the roads, which is very nice. Uh, so after that one, come to a stop. Oh, there's nothing here. Merge all of our previous national ideas, which we've learned from other nations, into one. Awesome. We'll get that one done, hopefully. And we have 175 monies. Not a bunch. We can't even send st like stuff out, so... Oh, uh, we're... <laughs> oh, God, we're ill-prepared. That's not good. Practice runs. Oh, baby boy. We are not looking too good, are we? No, we're not. I wish we could spend PP for this. Like, why can't we spend PP on it? Oh, we can do this one too. Yeah, let's grab some more daily army XP again. That'd be really good to do. Play working is nice as well. Let's grab some of that too. Still minus one because we have literally none here, which sucks. And then we'll do that one. Come up, come to a stop. Nice. Nope. Because I don't get in the PC either, so. Alright, no cowboys. Taking a while. So we didn't need to do this stuff earlier, but whatever. And then, are you guys good yet? No. And then we'll do new products for new buyers. So we can an arms workshop, so that'll be good. I want to do a practice run. Come on, how do you not have enough stuff yet, yet here? Yeah, you want that stuff? That's fine. Scout kits? Sure, that's fine. I don't care. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Oh, no, that's, that's right. Motor chariots? No, that's one. That's one. Stonks? Nice. Very good. We are ill prepared. This is so bad. And we almost have it. Just, I'm glad I looked at that. Because if I didn't make the switch over there, that would have been really bad for us. Oh boy. 
Um, military sending bonus is not bad. I would like a little more output, though. We could use a little more factory output, realistically. Come to a stop. Oh, and we got it done. Good. Launch a race? No. Let's do that one first. And then we gotta do this one too, but we still need more motorized vehicles. We just don't have the output for it right now. Tombstone slowly getting there. Slowly. Ugh. Um. Actually, anything fly balloons? Oh, that's actually different. Tiny Labontes. Or Tiny Labon. More cast support and better production costs. That's unique. I like that a lot, one, actually. I like that one very much. And over here. Oh, mechanic. Yes, more attack and defense. Actually, that's. We have to grab that one. Yeah. Uh, I want to do all these other ones, but let's go one. Just because we get energy, which we need immediately. And we're still trying to build up roads right now, which will be very good to get done. So after that, we will do the Col Coliseum eventually. Oh, conquer the Cowboys. To the west of our lands, a community called Cowboy Country lies. It consists of various ranches, but their military is enforced by remnants of Arizona Rangers. We'll ask the Legion to allow us to conquer those degenerates and prove our worth. Concentrated usage? Ah, oh, yes. More heart attack and breakthrough? That's not bad. Prefer soft attack, but hey, that's just me, maybe. New products for new buyers? Great! So we literally just go straight up to war with them. Well, let's even grab anybody else here. Uh, P, or Pi. Ooh, and SA. I'd rather have you as a general and have you as a field marshal. Fast metabolism? Less, more supply consumption, but more defense and recovery rate. More attack and agile. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see. I do want inspiration. Beloved leader, it's not too bad. I don't mind going rooted and getting savage leaders, so that's not too bad either, but whatever. Just be inspirational for now. Doesn't matter to me. Not really. We have enough, we should have enough divisions. These guys are only each are ten combo with only, but Oh, we have more than enough motorized vehicles. Come on. Practice race. Yes. Buy new parts, yes. We're still air prepared, which Man, that's really how do they go from unprepared to ready? Like that's that's a little unfair, man. That's quite a bit unfair. Nope. Conquer the Cowboys, and then uh, integrate the Rangers. We need to own all these places. So we got to wait to do other stuff first, which is fine. So then we'll go ahead and do armor person Let's start your engines. Any man who drives safely while kissing a pretty girl is simply not giving the kiss the attention it deserves. <laughs> Salvage car? Very cool. I'll stop doing that, because we basically have to go now. Now, it seems like we probably won't be able to do super well immediately, but what if we do something like that? And send both of you boys in. Actually, they don't have enough soldiers for this. Interesting. And actually, we kind of do have an air force. We haven't deployed any planes yet. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. This could make or break us here, so. If you guys could win, well, that'd be quite nice. Plant cultivation is pretty good. And eh, I'll grab some of that, because we, we might actually need to import, import some energy. We should be able to win down here quickly enough. Go up there and scroll this one division. Kill them off. I don't want to do general attack. Hey, we're considered major power. Look at that. And oh, we're catching up here quite nicely. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. All right, let's go in. All right, boys. We got to do what what Kaiza wants. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say there. Alright, so now they're putting the pressure on us. Once this division dies, then we'll do probably general attack. Um, you know what? You guys can probably just go right there, too. Let's go! Racers, go, go, go! Actually, if, if, if you move fast enough, you could actually probably just do all this and cut them all off. Because I made sure that these guys... We made sure that these guys are super speedy. So they're done. we're done here. Okay, I want to save that for a little bit later. Let's go ahead and do something else, such as basic generators. We're probably going to need that. Because energy is super important. And we have cut them off. Ultimo, yes. And <sighs> cut these guys off from two from this because I do want to get some art more. Um, oh, they wow, four divisions. I do want to get some more army XP, so keep them in place for now. Don't worry about it for now. You guys do take a while down here. Holy crap, they might be able to go in circles, but we'll see. Nice, hold so you don't lose it. Keep these guys in place. Keep all these guys in place. How many have we lost? 93 versus 300. That's not too bad, actually. Thunderstruck structure engines. There we go. Oh, yes. Very good. Uh, why not? Now these guys should be starving, and they should be out of equipment. So, getting us a lot of XP for this. Good. Fight for freedom? 
We lose, I do not want this manpower. Ooh, that's not bad. That's actually really good right here. That's really good. More attack, defense, speed. I don't care what else we have. We gotta go with that one. And anything else here? Not yet. Okay, not bad. Still ill prepared, but whatever. Getting us plenty of army XP for what we need here. Take the air base so they can't have it. Good. We're not losing that many men. 172 overall in the grand scheme of things is not bad. Okay, we can so prepared. Alright. And we're gonna stop attacking here, so. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Head on down there so they can defend. We have two more divisions stuck here, which is great, great, great. Good. Let them attack us. And you guys need to help attack here, too. There you go. 200 versus 1,000. Not bad. Not bad. Anything else here? Nope, not yet. And we still need to do that stuff, which is fine. Queen of the Highway. The Nos Priestess Sarah has come up with a new design improvement for our cars, and we shall make use of it. Very good use. We need to save some PP up to core this stuff, too, though, so. Come on, kill them off. They're not that bad. And they're dead. Good. And get to the line where we have to be. And actually, you guys might just be able to race up that way. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Let them waste themselves on the line. We still get some more uh, XP, which is super, super important. If you really want to do that there, guys, that's fine with me. Whatever. She said 3,000 manpower, 17 divisions. And eventually we can call on our allies, too, so it won't even matter too much. So, Just absorb the hits for now. We do need to get some anti-tank. We need some dynamite for our soldiers, too. Oh, they are beating us up here, which is not very good, but whatever. Look at all that army XP. We lost... If I lose about 500, that's not too bad for this episode. Not too bad. At least in my opinion, but we'll see. Oh, you guys are up there, huh? There you go. I guess go on back, I suppose. Auto Valley? Uh, we could get in a circle there, so let's go there. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's go back. There you go. Not bad. Cool. Nope. But at least we're at war. Getting a ton of army XP. Thunderstruck. Anything else here yet? Nope. And uh, Melting Hunter. With the help of the Chop Shop, we've been able to restore an old pre-war foundry back to functionality, allowing us to produce more quality metals to meet our growing demand. Yeah, they love attacking. They love attacking. I'm surprised they're not at 2,000 yet. They're close, but not yet, huh? There you go. Nice. There you go. And with this, this much of a struggle, it's really giving our guys some more experience, which is awesome, 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 which would be helpful in the future. Part, part standardization. Ah, go and recycle stuff already. Kind of surprised we're not out of energy cells yet, but that's nice. It's actually very nice. Uh, we actually might be able to do this too. Boom. Get them off. Maybe. We'll see. Good. Help attack him right here. We might be able to make an instrument somewhere here, too, huh? Not bad idea. Not a bad idea. You guys keep these guys in place. You guys go right there and do the bing, bing, bong, boom. Um, there. I don't know, something like that. Getting a little crazy here with what we, what, with what we want to do here. There you go. And take these guys out, and then do that. Ah, nice. uh, you're actually probably getting circled, but let's, let's save these guys. And, bing, bong, boom. These guys are almost cut off, but not quite. Not quite. And you guys can help out right here, too. I'm really trying to get more army XP, as much army XP as I possibly can right now, so. Alright, are we there yet? Hey, we are! We need to do Hilltop next. Before we forget, Hilltop first. And, Highway Star. Our traders managed to acquire a pre-war car in pristine condition. Apparently, it has been housed in something called a museum that was originally used in races just like ours. After some lengthy discussions, the priests of Nas have finally given the go-ahead. We shall take, shall take it apart and study its designs in hopes of regaining new insights and potentially replicating it. Awesome. We've lost 509. That's not too bad. 2300 have died. Hopefully getting more army XP here, too. So that's the most important thing. Getting that army XP. Ooh, baby. Just want that army to be. Uh, actually, you guys go down here. We could actually just win the war right now, probably, honestly. We really, really wanted to. 
Let them come on out. See what they can do. Go on in, guys. Go on in. Kill them all. Nope. Don't let them in. Actually, do that. Ah, uh, these individuals. Nope. There you go. Crop rotation is nice. And that's a little bit way too ahead of time for us. And we're going to go ahead and grab dynamite. Country to assault. And let's go with motorized deployment. Because at this point, these guys are taking too long. Let them all just go. They're out of equipment. They definitely are, so. And they'll still have a little bit of manpower, but whatever. Basic generators are nice. Let's grab anti tank. Which did give us. Well, we did have to use some of our army XP for this, but whatever. Actually, if you guys go right there, you can cut them completely off. There you go. For now. Well, you go right there. Yep, oh, they're gone. And just in time for us to get this one done, too. Nice. Alright, Rose to Ultimo. Now the cowboy country is sit under our rule, it is time to connect it to Tucson. We'll force all who are unwilling to live under the rule of Kaiser, the son of Mars, to rebuild to build roads connecting a growing nation. Ooh. Oh wait, oh this one says compliance. For far too long the people of this region resisted Kaiser's will now that their pathetic resistance was crushed under the Legion's sandal. The task of pacifying the region has fallen to us. Some of Kaiser's servants think us weak for relying on others to fight for them, however. By having a road lined with the crucified bodies of dissenters, we shall make a display that shall rival even the displays of legionary dominance performed by the mighty Lanius in the East. Nice. We might get some uh, infrastructure damage, but we set a lot of compliance to go very, very well for us. There you go. Not too bad. Let's test new prototypes. Now, we don't have enough arm XP, god dang it, yet. Um, I lose some money. We need some more new, more money in this one, too. So, we're somewhat prepared. So, we can't spend much. Uh, oh, Rangers continue to fight. A gift? No, we're not giving them money. Are you kidding me? In the early morning hours today, groups of armed young men broke the curfew and stormed official buildings and warehouses, where their troops barely able to hold them off from breaking into the newly built temple of NASA itself. The insurgents have, were led by former Arizona Rangers, determined not to let their new home fall under the Legion's banner without a fight. It will require some special action to truly bring them to hill. Hmm, resistance. Did generals like them belong in a cross? Perhaps they can be reasoned with. Ooh, actually. Incorporating the Rangers. Um, Yuma? I do, definitely want to do that one. Ooh. Integrate the Rangers. I kind of want them in here. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll do that. Perhaps they can be reasoned with. Integrate the Rangers. Sounds like a very fun time. But happy 2278, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. All right, we got the money. Buy new parts. We need to do a practice run as well. How many things do we not have? Ah, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot, 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 lot worse. We need more things for planes. Just make sure these guys are at the top, because we only have, what, less than two a day, which actually really, really sucks, but whatever. Um, are you, how are you guys still fighting the chapter? How? Guys, please stop. This is, oh my goodness, this is not good. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess technically we are crucifying them. Oh. Well then. Oh well. Well, Ultimo. We could have integrated them, which is my bad. I should have realized that before. I didn't... I, you know, I don't like that. How... You didn't... I wish you could do... Integrate them or crucify them. That doesn't make any sense. You should be able to do either one of... You should be able to choose one of these two. It should be set up something like this to see... Oh, you can only choose one of these sides. Yeah, that needs... I don't know. Yeah. I think that needs to be... Uh, I don't like that. I really don't really don't like how it's set up. But they, then again, who am I? Who am I? Keep going for more of that first. And keep working on some more arms workshops for now, because we definitely need some more stuff. Uh, actually, we could probably do that one first. There you go. Uh, what do we want? But, uh, hey, at least we got more compliance here. My bad. That's completely my fault. I should have realized that beforehand. That sucks. That really sucks. But, hey, at least we get to do recycling. A little bit too ahead of time for me. And hardness. Ooh, let's get some basic weaponry. That'd be good. Follow it up with incorporating the ranches. Right? Because we can't do... We did crucify the ranches. We need that one. So, now the rangers are pacified and are road secure. Connecting our city with the ports of Ultimo. We can spread our cult freely amongst the populace. New garages will be opened and a flood of mechanics is ready to transform these wild ranches for the good of our now united people. And get a minus 75% a cost and reduction in coring. Nice. The locals... Local required infrastructure for uh, converting, minus one. Cool. So we got that stuff done. 
Um, doggos would be nice to have. Maintenance companies probably would be good as well. And I do know that we need to continue working on our other stuff. And by other stuff, I mean... Oh, crap. Uh, technology. Vehicle tech. Vehicle, 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 vehicle tech. We do that stuff too soon. Here. God, I would love to be able to get some more energy, but we can't get any yet. Uh, that one too. Cool. We have 107, which is not bad. But quite a bit of army XP already. I'm going to try to command. That's not, I like that. Stenora cohort. Motorized attack, plus 12%. Less the infantry division defense. This one would be quite bad for Cap's expenses, but the last Arizona Ranger... Well, I couldn't do that one, so that really sucks, but whatever. This one's not bad, though. I like this. Albinus. Let's go with Albinus. But then again, I do want to course off pretty quickly, so the conquest of Yuma. Quentin Lopez, who has so far successfully kept his country in an in intensely neutral position despite its location between the power block of the Legion and the NCR. However, the risk of his country one day serving as a potential springboard for an NCR invasion is one we can Ill uh, simply ill afford. And so the nation of Tohono shall suffer the same fate as all buffer states that lack the means to defend themselves. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to do that one, but how much do we need to core this? Oh, wait. Oh, we need motorized to do this one. Okay. We don't even need PP for this? We need more infrastructure for this and compliance more than 75%. Holy crap. That is insane. That is that is definitely different than before. I gotta do that one first. I'm not even making any more divisions yet just because we're out of equipment. Um, however, I uh, getting this early on was a mistake. That's my fault. I should have realized that. You know what? It's, it's just not worth doing then. Good. Oh, they're actually already four. Hmm. We, I've spent the entire time trying to get these guys too. 4 to 8. It does lower our stuff though. 14 combat width. So we can go up to here and do this twice and then throw on another motorized infantry to make it 20 combat width. Uh, I might compare the stats off that later on. Just, I don't know. Hmm. Let's get some demo teams going. Conquest of Yuma is nice. Oh, oh wait, we go to war them immediately? My bad. Whatever. The Coliseum. At the center of our land lies the Great Coliseum, although its tracks extend far beyond our capital. It is where our leaders are chosen and victors of our races are declared. It is here where our race shall begin and also where we shall witness its conclusion. By expanding our infrastructure, we're going to open up new avenues for trade, improving our access to important resources, which in turn will greatly benefit our home industry. Nice. Guys, guys, stop attacking then. If you want to do well, just stop attacking. Apply lessons that we've learned. Well, oh, can they not do well? Well, hold on. Three to four thousand manpower. They have only three. Cool. I get I just go straight for Yuma then. Wow, this is a lot more interesting than I thought it would because this is a unique focus tree. So, huh? Gila. That was extremely easy. Usually they're not that easy to take out, but okay. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. Actually, for now, I'll just do something like that, because we might still take them out. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, we have a lot of PP we can s spend, though. Um, go outside battalions, I guess. Why not? 91% stability, not bad. Um, I'm going to have you guys train, though, just because we need more daily army XP. We just need to get more army XP. This is ridiculous. And, but we do have 80 here, which is not bad. I mean, technically, we could have our stability, but they're not even attacking, so there's no point even joining them, then. And actually, how are we doing for this? We're somewhat prepared. God dang it. But after the Coliseum. New roads for a new land. If we ever wish to govern these lands as more than an occupational force, we'll have to integrate both them as well as their infrastructure, which shall enable both party, people, and troops to move freely within our borders and unlock in cowboy country. The people of Tohono seem to require a lot less convincing to help us on this endeavor. Nice. Get more infrastructure. It's great. And then farming traditions. After the conquest of Tohono, we adopted many of their agricultural techniques. More agricultural research speed, monthly population, civilian... Uh, Research, construction speed, yeah, that's my fault earlier on in this episode. I thought, I really had thought that we could have a... I'm going to do this first as well, though. We keep boosting boost this stuff up. Um, the chairs would be so much more worth it, but oh, they're obviously not. Oh, can you guys not get... Come on, guys, move. I know infrastructure kind of sucks down here, but... No agles, it should be okay for us. Maintenance would be nice. And I started doing some of the, more of this stuff. Do we have any bonuses for any of this stuff yet? No, we don't really. God dang it. Wireless warfare, aerial warfare. I guess we could do that one first, I guess. Hey, six out of ten, that's not too bad though. Oh man. Economic advisors? Yeah, I wouldn't be too bad either. But hey, I'm I'm glad we went to war twice already, so. Focus fire is not too bad. And let's grab some of that. Nope, let's go with this. More defense. And farming traditions and Tohono's integration. Nice. Local required infrastructure for converting minus one. 
That's so weird that we have to use infrastructure for converting stuff, but I guess we'll do Tohono's integration once we do motor deployment and armored assault. Nice. And I guess basic weaponry first too. Additional plating, why not? At least we got better guns now. Oh, actually, um, apply new parts. We need more money, army XP. We could do that one, but we're gonna wait. And or, wait, where's the thing about Lanius? We have oh, we spend our stuff here. Let's do that one first. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I guess make two at a time then. I don't know. Let's see what happens. There you go. I want to use mostly that, but oh well, you will keep continue using some infantry, but. Tono's integration. The people of Yuma are finally ready to embrace us, not as overlords, but as fellow citizens of Tucson. Once they've tasted the speed of our new highways, the idea of a Tono nation will be nothing but a distant memory, as well as a hundred miles of concrete. Our new road networks rival the works of the legendary Eisenhower, the mythical giant said to have built the long roads that run through the <laughs> former territories of the USA, although on a much larger, smaller scale. So both traders and racers are sure to appreciate our efforts. Eisenhower. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below, guys. Should we do Marina's Doctrine? and faster transports, or should we do the big gun doctrine and the bowl C? But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue to explore what Tucson's has to offer for us. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!